Hello and welcome out to an exclusive ValleyCentral.com uh, game here, basketball game between the PHA Bears and the Nicky Bear Warriors and game action has already started. We're 5 minutes and 21 seconds into the game, so let's go ahead and take you straight to game action here. And we're here live on some game action here between these two teams and getting ready to show you why they call this the circus. Gatling going, trying to get that one up. He tries twice, nothing on that one, and so Gatling will have to put this one back down. To inbound for the Bears, they have Castillo, so Castillo to inbound for the Bears here. Castillo gets that ball back. Castillo trying to advance this one. Castillo doing a fine job there, and he passes it off. So then Rami will have that one. They try to get that one back to Castillo. And the Warriors have one win so far in this season, and they're leading by a basket. <laughs> Warriors went undefeated last year in their season, so let's see what they can do here in their season. So there you have Castillo. Be, trying to be guarded by Martinez. You have Gatling getting that ball back. So Gatling gets that ball back. And so he'll hand that ball over. And that one will be Garcia trying to make that one in. Muncha able to get that rebound back. And Mancia passing that one off to Castillo. Castillo getting nothing on that one. And so Moncha taking that one back out. That ball is almost taken away. Martinez is there to block. Castillo and a, that one will be called for a foul on Martinez. So that one's called for foul on Martinez with Mancia making that first basket. So Mancia makes that basket and they will foul Martinez. So he'll get a basket and one. Mancia lands his basket and so that will put the Bears ahead 5 to 4 over the Warriors right now. Gatling to get this one across. Gatling gets that one nicely across. Gatling sending that one over to the new kid on block, Garcia. And a nice job there by Jojo Martinez. That ball is rebounded in by Rami. Rami takes that ball, gives it to Mancia. Mancia having this ball. Mancia looking to take this one across. And Mancia will go ahead and throw that one over to Moncha. Moncha gets that ball out of bounds, and that will be a ball out of bounds. Warriors are ahead by a basket right now, 7 to 5, and that ball will be inbounded by Rami for the Bears. So Rami gets that one. Gatling tries to get that one away, and he will get that one away. Gets that one over to Martinez, and that will be Campos. Rudy Campos, who landed that one. Mancia is trying to take this ball back. So there's Mancia. He passes that one off to Rami. Rami tries for three. He misses. That ball bounces off. That ball was a fight between Mancia, Mocha, between Mocha and Gatling, and Lopez. Lopez was finally able to get that ball and take that one up for a basket. Gatling took that one in the middle. He passed that one off to Martinez. Martinez having this one. And Campos making another well done basket there. So this one is up at 11 to 7 game. This one having Mancias carry the ball. He's being guarded by Garcia and Martinez. So he's being double teamed. So this ball trying to be brought out by Castillo and he gets that ball over to Moncha. That ball going back to Costa. Castillo, so Castillo having this ball, and that one will go off to Mancias. Mancias tries for three, nothing on that one. Gatling takes that rebound, and he'll run this ball up court. He passes that ball over to Garcia. Garcia to Martinez. Martinez trying to get that one over, and he'll get that one up. That one will be a basket for Campos. So Campos getting another basket on that one, and that will be the first time out of the game here as this score is a 13-7 game. So a 13-7 game here with the Warriors in the lead. And so Warriors leading right now. And they'll try for a basket. 
nice job done here by both teams. Doing a nice job of guarding. And that's why this one is such a low scoring game right now. It's only 13 to 7. And that's something that uh, is not normal for a high school game. Usually it's higher. Warriors break out of their huddle and we're ready to go here. So the ball down there. And so this one will be Castillo. Castillo trying to take this one across. Castillo goes up. He doesn't make the basket, but he will get a foul. And so he gets a penalty chart on the Warriors, and he'll get a shot for two baskets. So you won't always make the basket, but if you can manage to uh, get a nice uh, time at basket, you'll be fine. I mean, if you can manage to get fouled about half the time that you go up for a basket, you'll be fine. 13 to 8 game here right now. Close one. <coughs> Bears will do a switch off here in a little bit. They'll put in Garcia and they'll take out Rami. They wanted to do that right now, but the referee said not right now. So Castillo doesn't land his first one. He landed the first one. Gatling will get that rebound after Martinez gave that one to him. And so that ball will be passed off to Jojo Martinez. New kid on the block, and he'll make three right there. And so that one will be Castillo over to Mancias. Castillo to Mancias. That seems like a combo that we've been calling a lot tonight. So that ball, they try to get that one over to Rami. No luck on that one as he let that one slip out of bounds. And so this one will be uh, re uh, put into play by Contreras. Passed off to Martinez. So uh, Martinez having the ball. He passes that one off to Gatling. Gatling has this ball. Passes that one back over to Martinez. And they're trying to do a team play on that one. Gatling cannot get anything going on that one. Garcia was there. And so this one will go out of bounds. Last touch by Warriors to be inbounded by Castillo. Put over to Mancias. And Gatling was going to try and stop him. Instead, he'll come back over. And actually, he'll be sit down by the coach. So they'll put in Mari Campos, brother of Rudy Campos, into this game for, Mar for Gatling right now. And that ball was handed off to Lopez. Lopez had a travel as that ball never hit the ground he wasn't able to make that one land into the ground and so this one will be Martinez passing that ball over to Campos Campos has this ball Campos getting double teamed so Campos get double teamed by Mancias and Castile and so that referee will say that that one was last touch by the Bears and that one will be inbounded by Martinez and over to Martinez Jojo Martinez so Martinez to take this one across. They get that one over. And that one will be Mari Campos trying to get that one up for a three. No luck on that one though. And so on that, Mancias will try to get that one across. And that one will be a warrior ball. Nothing on that one as they ran that one back up the court. But nothing. 34 seconds left here in your first quarter. And there's a nice idea I mean they have some nice ideas on this one here's Martinez Martinez having the ball Martinez is open so it looks like it may be a Martinez to a Martinez are running out the clock 13 seconds left on the clock and Jojo Martinez wants to take this one up the middle and did they'll hand that one over to Mauri Campos that one will be rebounded by Marcus Contreras and Martinez Alan Martinez will go up for a basket and he'll make that basket to beat the buzzer and make this one 18 to 8 so an 18 to 8 game here with the Bears trailing by 10 in the first quarter so into the first quarter here our score is 18 to 8 so an 18 to 8 game going on here between these two teams a nice job between them right now looking at it and if you're the coach, you have to be proud of what your team's doing right now as they're keeping you out of trouble. They're keeping your team with a lead right now of 10 points. That is a major lead for a team like this. 
Warriors are used to having leads like this, so for them it's not really anything new, I'd say. And so we're getting ready to go here. And we'll go and we'll take you back to some live video action here of this. So live video action here of this nice game. And we're ready to go. <coughs> that one's inbounded by Castile. They try and get that one up. Nothing on that one. And so that will be Martinez tripped up. New kid on the block. Dojo Martinez gets tripped up on that play. Martinez to send this one back across. Martinez there. Martinez having the ball. Passes that one off to Campos. Campos back to Martinez. Martinez to Martinez. Martinez to Contreras. Contreras saw he had nothing on that one. He was double teamed. He had nowhere to go. Rudy Campos tries and go up for that one. Nothing on that one. And so his brother Mari Campos trying to take on Mancias on that one. So uh, Campos and Mancias on that one. And they will not call a foul as they were able to easily switch that one out. Some folks thought, oh, they might call a foul. No, they were able to uh, get that one out of trouble. So 7-10 here left in your uh, second quarter as we just started the second quarter. And there's Mancias tries to go up. And he'll get up and he'll get the basket. And so that will be Contreras to inbound that to Martinez. Martinez over to Alan Martinez. And that ball is taken away by Mancias, given to Castillo. Castillo is able to take that one up. It looked like that one would be a basket instead. They're unable to get the basket on that one. Martinez trying to get that one back. Castillo tries and goes up for a couple. That one will be a double team between Mar Martinez and Contreras. There's Martinez trying to bring this one up the court. Contreras gets that one in his hands and out of his hand quickly. And so that will be Campos that tries to get that one up. Nothing on that one, and that will be an 18-10 game here. So an 18-10 game going on here with a 10-point uh, lead here for the Warriors. And that will be... Campos, it goes to the basket for two. So Campos at the basket to see if he can make two here. <coughs> Campos does not make that one. And actually, that he since he made the basket, it would have been a one extra point on that one added on, but instead he can't make that one. And so that was a little one-on-one -on -one there between Gatling and Mancias. He doesn't make the basket. That ball goes out of bounds. And so Martinez to inbound this one with Gatling having the ball right now. Gatling passing that one back over to Jojo Martinez. Back to Gatling. Gatling will take this one across midcourt. They'll pass that one over to Contreras. Passes that one over. And so that will be a nice try there. They try and get this one across. Nice job on this one. And so that will be, they're looking to get this one across, and there's a nice travel, Castillo is there, and Mantilla is having this ball, being guarded by Gatling, Gatling and Mantilla, and now it's Contreras and Mantilla, Mantilla is the name we've been calling it a lot here tonight, Mantilla is getting that ball over to Castillo, Castillo gets that one in for three, and so that one will bring a 20-13 to 13 game here, Warriors are unable to block that one. 2013 with Martinez trying to take this one up court and dead he'll pass that one backwards over to Gatling Gatling getting that one back over to Martinez and they'll call a foul on the Bears take a look at the bear coach here you can see how animated he is as he's talking to the referee you can see he's yelling at the referee and so it looks like he may actually be thrown out of this game before this night is over I hate to say that about a uh, coach but uh, that looks like that might be the, the deal going on here. Gatling over to Martinez. Martinez tries for a three-pointer. Nothing on that one. And so that ball is taken by Castillo. Castillo taking this one back up court. So Castillo running this one up court. He gets that one over to uh, Garcia. Garcia going in there. And there will be a pass off to Castillo. Castillo 
getting that one over on that one there was a little touch by Garcia. Garcia got that one over to uh, Mancias. Mancias back over to Castillo, and Castillo will try and go up for a basket. Instead, nothing on that one. Gatling will try and rebound that ball, but that one hit the back of the basket as that ball would have already been out. Instead, Gatling tried to do some NBA tactics there that you only see. And so that one's no good. They try to double team him out of there. And that one will be Garcia going up for a basket. He doesn't make the basket. And Campos will come up for the rebound on that one. It looked like that one was going to be touched by Lopez. So it looked like Lopez would get a rebound on that one. Instead, no luck. This one will be passed over to uh, Martinez. Martinez over to Campos. Uh, Campos on that one. That ball rolls right back to Martinez. And they'll call a timeout on Rowe. So Rowe calls a timeout. Referee and coach are talking. He's saying there should have been a foul. And they did not call a foul. So the coach, Yebra, Jose Yebra, head coach of the Nicaragua Warriors, who led them through an undefeated season last year, will be talking to the referees. He's trying to get the referee to see this game the way that he had it. And the referee will say, that's not going to fly. I did not see that, and so that's not what I'm going to call right now. 20-13 to 13 score here. Nine seconds left in this timeout. The referee waiting to give this ball over to the Warriors so they can go and inbound this ball. Looking at the Bears coach, you can see that he's upset with the way this game is going. So both coaches are upset with the amount of fouls that the referees are not calling. Right now it is a low foul game. It's four fouls for the Warriors and three fouls for the Bears. 20 to 13 game here with 4.15 to play here. Coach is getting a little bit uh, animated and I love to see that in coach when they're animated in their game. It means that uh, they've been at this long enough uh, to know what's at stake here. Not only that, but it, it just brings us back uh, exactly what you love about basketball. And so Gatling getting that ball. Gatling taking that ball. He passes that one over to Garcia. Garcia over to Contreras. Contreras over. And so they try and get that one up. And that will be Gatling that gets a basket. So Gatling gets another basket on this one. And so they're able to make Mantilla step out of bounds. As that was a double team there by Contreras and Gatling and they'll call a timeout so they will call a timeout look at the Nikiro Warriors here their cheerleading team they came out to support their players here and that's always what you love to see you love to see a team that comes out here and support their team and that's exactly what you see when you come to a warrior game Let's go ahead and take you over back to the live game footage action here on ValleyCentral.com. Warriors coming out of their huddle along with the Bears. So both teams coming back onto the court after that timeout. 3.31 to play here in your second quarter. Score is 22-13. to 13. So a score of 22 for the, the Warriors and 13 for the Bears. This is a closer game than what the Bears than what the Warriors had against the Bulldogs actually last week. And that will be Mancias being guarded by Garcia. And so passed over to Castillo. Campos gets that ball, passes over to Gatling. Gatling having that ball, giving that one to Martinez. Back to Gatling. Gatling. And Gatling has this one. Gatling goes up and he makes a layup. And that will be a 24 to 13 game here with Castillo. Actually, Mancias running this one back. And that ball will be out of bounds, and that will be a Warrior ball. So, Warrior ball on that one. With Gatling to inbound this one to Martinez. So, Martinez runs this one up court. So, run this one up court. Nice job on that one. Gatling over to Garcia. Excuse me, Martinez. Gatling pass back over to Martinez. Jojo Martinez passes off to Campos. Campos goes up. Nothing on that one. Taken by Castillo. Castillo passes that one off to Rami. Rami back over to Castillo. And Mar Martinez trying to block on that one. Contreras going in there. And they'll call a foul on, Martin on Contreras. 
So Martinez was there and Contreras tried to go in for the direct block. Instead, he'll get a foul called up on him and that will bring back in Alan Martinez to this game. And they'll go ahead and take out uh, Garcia. So they'll go ahead and take out Gabe Garcia on that one. Castillo over to Mancias. Mancias being guarded by Gatling. Gatling getting that ball. And so Gatling unable to block that one as they're able to pass that ball back over to Castillo. Castillo gets this ball. And we'll call that one for <coughs> Castillo to go to the basket. So Castillo will go to the basket here as we have a foul called against the Warriors and that will bring up six fouls on the Warriors and three fouls on instead that will most be a foul but that he'll go to the basket instead and they go up and on that one Bears are able to score so Garcia is able to score and that ball is uh, taken over to Gatling after being inbounded. Martinez having this ball. Martinez looking to take this one around the corner. There's Martinez. Martinez back to uh, Campos. And so uh, that one's able to be taken over by Castillo. And that one they look to go up. And so on that one, Moncha looked to go up. He will get a foul called in favor of him. 24 to 15 game here. And so that will bring up seven fouls on the Warriors so actually they will not call a foul on that one and that will irate the Bears fans and so they land a three so on that one Mancias lands another three in this game Martinez to take this one he passes that one over to Gatling Gatling looking for an open option he passes that one over to uh, Garcia Garcia back over to uh, and Martinez looking to take that one over. Touched by the Bears. Bears taking that one out of bounds. And they'll say that that ball was last touched by the Warriors. As Garcia try and take that one back. So that one will be inbounded by Rami with a minute and 21 to play here. Score is 24-17. Warriors are ahead of the Bears. And so this one will be a nice job there. And there... They're able to get that one back over. That will be Rami with the ball. Passes that one over to Mancias. Mancias over to Garcia. And so that one was Moncha that tried to go over Gatling's head to get that ball. Instead, that ball will go out of bounds and he'll just go over Gatling's head for the heck of it. Gatling has this ball. Gatling standing back, trying to look for any open options on this one. Martinez back over to Gatling. Gatling holding on to the ball with 42 seconds to go. It doesn't look like Coach Yebra is worried much looking at him. He's just sort of laid back. We'll go ahead and take you a shot up there. Look at Yebra. He doesn't look too uh, worried about what's going on right now. He's just sort of relaxed. 26 seconds to play here. And uh, the boys will just go ahead and run out the clock. And then they'll go ahead and go for a shot after everything is said and done here. Gatling looking to go in. Gatling will not get the basket, but he will get sent to the basket on a foul sent against the Bears. So it looks like at halftime, Bears will walk away with four fouls, and the Warriors will walk away with six. As we only have 14 seconds left here. Gatling goes up for his first basket. He makes it. One of two, so Gatlin makes his first one with one more to come here. Gatling to attempt his second free throw. Gatlin makes both free throws, and that will bring up a 26-17 game here. Martinez looking to block there, and the Bears looking to bring this one back up court. They get nothing on that one, and so Campos is able to get that ball back over to Gatlin, and they'll call a... <laughs> the call that that one will become a Bears ball so this one becoming a Bears ball Rami to inbound this one to Mancias 
Mancias gets that one over. They look to get something done there, and Gatlin gets a ball on that one. Nothing on that one, and that will be the end of the first half here. So end of the first half, 26 to 17 game going on here. You see the Warriors walking out there, and the Bears. So there you see your two teams walking out here, and it is a 26 to 17 game going on. Nice job by both teams. You can see a lot of effort going on here between both of them. It's a fair battle right now between the Warriors and the Bears as this score is 26 to 17 in the end of the first half. Bears walk away with four fouls on them and the Warriors will walk away with six fouls on them. So we'll be back with the second half here on Belly Central very shortly. In about 10 minutes, you're watching ValleyCentral.com.